Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I wanted to make a kind of serious video about a topic that really hits home for me. Today I'm going to be talking about Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner is the transgender father of uh, the Kardashian family. She has asked to continue to be called the father, even though she has transitioned from male to female. And she recently won the Courage Award at the ESPYs. I wanted to talk about the transphobia in the comments and a lot of the arguments against Caitlyn Jenner. Whatever that means. So I've counted nine different kinds of responses to Caitlyn Jenner that are negative and transphobic. And I'm going to share those with you and kind of my rebuttal to these comments. The number one reason I saw people arguing against Caitlyn Jenner was religion. People would say, God didn't make Adam and Eve to gender change or like that's sick and wrong and it's against the Bible. What I have to say to those people is your religion doesn't teach you to hate your neighbor. It teaches you to love your neighbor and be kind. So even if it's against your beliefs, you need to let your neighbor, your, f your fellow man, do whatever they want to do with their body and their lives and respect that. Another thing that I see that people use against Caitlyn Jenner is their hatred of gays. That some of it's religious, some of it's not religious, but they just say gays are sick, twisted individuals, stuff like that. And I just want to explain to them the difference between sexual orientation and gender identity. Sexual orientation is who you go to bed with. So if I'm a male and I go to bed with a male, then that's a gay relationship. Gender identity, on the other hand, is who you go to bed as. I identify as a male, transgender male, so I go by he, him pronouns. People who use the hatred of gays argument against Caitlyn Jenner just really aren't educated and should read up on a lot more stuff before posting on these kinds of videos. I kind of touched on this in the last one, but people who call it sick and twisted, people who compare being transgender to pedophilia and to bestiality, things like that. Um, People who also say that it would be the same thing as trying to transition into an animal. And I don't understand how these are any, on any of the same planes at all. Pedophilia and bestiality are more in the sexual orientation realm. I don't condone either of those at all. They're, in my opinion, morally wrong. But those have nothing to do with gender identity. And transitioning into an animal is like a furry. Furries have nothing to do with transgender people because they can have different sexual orientations and genders. So I don't understand that argument at all. One thing I see a lot is the comparison of a transgender woman to a soldier. And this one just... They aren't even on the same playing field. Yes, they're both brave, but they're brave in different ways, so comparing them isn't fair to either. Transgender women have to face brutality, walking through the streets, or using the bathroom they want to, or being asked, um, or asking people to use the right pronouns. Military people, on the other hand, have to deal with being shot at, PTSD, things like that. It's not even close to being the same thing. This bravery to come out is different than the bravery to fight for your country. So I don't understand how you can compare Caitlyn Jenner to a veteran who's lost his legs in combat or something. It's, it's completely different. A lot of people will also say that she's just doing it for attention so that she can uh, get more people to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians and Becoming Kate and that she's just trying to make money off of it. But I don't think that the people that say this understand what kind of pain it takes to go through transition and to do hormones and surgeries and to 
all of those changes, how long it takes and how much you have to want it to get it, I don't think that they understand that aspect of it. A lot of people also say, don't shove it in my face. This one just makes me angry. Because you don't have to watch the TV programs with transgender people on them. You don't have to click on the YouTube videos that have transgender people talking about their experiences. You don't have to watch any of this. It's not being shoved in your face. You can just change the channel, watch a different YouTube video, exile your browser, turn off your computer. I don't know. You don't, it's not being shoved in your face. You can completely avoid it. You can block posts with the word transgender in it if you're really going to be transphobic like that. It's not being shoved in your face. It's just not. A lot of people will say that since she's rich and famous, that she wasn't really all that brave to come out. They say this as if being in the spotlight is a less dangerous place to transition, when in reality it's dangerous to transition at all when you are transgender, especially transgender women. So Caitlyn Jenner being in the spotlight like that and transitioning subjects her to a lot more danger because people are going to be following her around, keeping up on where she goes, what she does, and it would be a lot easier for people who like to commit hate crimes against transgender people to find her and make an example of Caitlyn. I think that people who think that her money and fame negate her bravery are wrong because it's just as brave to come out as a spokesperson for transgender people and transgender youth. Some people will come at it from a feminist standpoint and say that Caitlyn Jenner is conforming to what people think a woman is by wearing dresses and talking about how when she was a man she had to wear suits and now she has to figure out this makeup thing and pick out dresses and I just want to tell those people that your expression doesn't equal your gender but if you want to express in a stereotypically feminine way as a transgender female that does not make your transition any less valid. If a fem cis woman wants to wear lipstick and dresses, then she's still a woman. And if a cis masculine woman wants to wear short hair and bind maybe even and look masculine, she's still a woman too. It doesn't negate her womanhood. And one thing I see a lot, often in all caps, is she committed vehicular manslaughter and should not be praised with a courage award. And I just urge those people to look up what the meaning of manslaughter is. The definition of manslaughter is the crime of killing a human being without malice, aforethought, or otherwise in circumstances not amounting to murder. An accident. It was an accident. She didn't mean to kill that woman. She wasn't doing anything wrong. It was just an accident. You can't say that her transition isn't valid and she's not courageous because she was in a car accident and somebody died. I'd like to say that the discussion surrounding Caitlyn Jenner in the public is a great thing and that people are starting to understand what being transgender is and it's getting out into the public. And Caitlyn Jenner in her speech was talking about transgender bullying, trans teens, uh, hate crimes, stuff like that. And I'm really proud of her for becoming a spokesperson for the transgender community. If you have any more thoughts, comments, anything like that, be sure to post them down below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.